Hi, I'm Nora, and this time I wanted to talk a little bit about the if statement in Notion. Also, I do have a bit of a cold, so my voice is a little bit weird and I might talk a little bit slower than usual, but hopefully that's okay. So let's get on with the if statement. Down here I put three examples of how you can structure an if statement and I'm going to go through those individually before I use all of them in one longer formula. So I'm going to show these individually and kind of hope you get a sense of how you can use them and how you can mix them together. There are a million ways you can mix these together. So, <laughs> And hopefully my longer formula example after this is going to give you an idea of how you can pretty much combine them however you want. Okay, so starting with the first, which is a simple if statement, which is if this is true, show this, if not, show this. Okay, so let's say the subcategory is shopping and then we want it to be within the category personal. So if prop sub equals shopping, this is what we're checking is true. If that's true, show personal, otherwise nothing. So that's one if statement. If sub is shopping, we set the category to personal. Otherwise, we leave it blank. So let's add another if statement to this formula. Let's say if subcategory is school, we want to show education. So that's going to be structured like this. If this is true, show this. If that isn't true, check if this is true. And if that's true, show this. Otherwise, if none are true, show this. So you can see that before the false statement, we can add another line of if. So before this part, we can add in another if statement saying if prop sub equals school, we want to display education. Otherwise, display nothing. And we need another circular bracket at the end here because we've added another if statement. So we close it off with two circular brackets. And then there's another way we can structure things using this if. If this is true, check if this is true as well. And if both are true, display this. If only the first is true, display this. And if the first isn't true at all, it won't check this and it'll only display this, the last part. Let me just show a quick example. If the subcategory is school, so if prop sub equals school, we want to check if the task contains ing and if it does we want to show english so this one has a ing 101 so if it's subcategory is school we want to check the title for the subject so if contains prop task english or ing display english otherwise nothing and then we close it off because this is a full if statement inside of the first if statement and then we add the false part of the first if statement so what we told it to do was that if the subcategory was school, we wanted to check if the task contained English. And if it did display English, otherwise nothing. We could say if not show school, for example. But if it wasn't the subcategory school, it wouldn't check for anything. It would be displayed as empty. So let me summarize these a little bit before we add all of these together into one long formula. So if this is true, show this, otherwise nothing. And the next one was, if this is true, show this. If not, check if this is true, then show this, otherwise nothing. Or otherwise whatever we want. And the next one was, if this is true, check if this is also true, display this if both are, display this if only the first is true, and then display nothing if the first wasn't true. I do want to say before we move further that every outcome that could come of your formula has to be of the same type. You can't be displaying number for one outcome and then text for another. You have to make sure they match. Usually it's an easy fix, but I just wanted to point that out. So make sure your outcomes are all of the same type. And I also want to show a quick example of why the order you put your if statements in matter. Because it does sometimes. So just as an example, we have a simple overdue or done status, okay? So these both formulas include both of the options, but for one of them, it's not showing up the done when it's checked as done. Let me show you why. So the formula that's not shown correctly is checking if date is before now and then showing overdue. And then it's checking if date is before now and properly done is checked and then it shows done. 
but it needs to check the opposite order because after it's found out that the date is overdue it's not going to check for anything else so it doesn't matter that it's overdue and done it's found that it's overdue and it's going with it so that's why you need to have the order be correctly so if we change this order it now first checks if it's done before showing overdue okay so the order really does matter with if statements like this now this doesn't always matter but if you have one condition for example, date is overdue, or like the date is before today, and you use it in multiple if statements, that's when it starts to matter what order they are in. Okay, time to go over several if statements together, and then one example of using different kinds of if statements, or like different structures for if statements inside of one big formula. We're going to start with writing several if statements inside a formula. So all of these. If the subcategory is bills or decoration we want it to show home if it is shopping or social we want it to be categorized as personal if it's an assignment we want it to be categorized under school so this is using the structure of the second if statement structure i talked about previously so if this is true show this if not like if this is true and then show this otherwise show something else or nothing so let's start with the first one if prop bills sub <laughs> equals bills, so home will little cute emoji. Otherwise, nothing for now. So inside of this, we can also add the decoration because that's under the same category. So prop equals sub equals bills or prop sub equals decoration. So now it's going to show home for both of these. And now we can add the personal categories. And the beauty with simple if it's like this, you can just copy everything before the false statement and paste it down after the last comma. So now we put in an entire new if statement in here. And then we add a circular bracket because we have two if statements. So this time if sub equals shopping or sub equals social, we display another emoji and personal and if not a true nothing so then we've added two if statements together and then we can add in school so before the false statement we can add another if statement if prop sub equals school or assignment I mean <laughs> we show school with a little emoji Otherwise nothing. And we again add another circular bracket because we added another if statement. But let's say that if the subcategory was assignment, we wanted to check the task for a course for a subject so that we could get a bit of a more specific category like English or maths. So I'm simply going to copy the formula from above and paste it in here so that I can change it to fit this. So, we need to change something in here. Because right now, if prop sub equals assignment, it shows school. We want to change this to check another if statement. So, if it equals assignment, we want to check if prop task contains ENG. And if it does, we want to display English. With a little emoji, of course. Otherwise, nothing. And then we close it off because this is an individual if statement inside the bigger if statement. And if it's not English, we want to check if it's maths. So we're going to do the same thing we've been doing so far. If this is true, show this. If not, check if this is true. But we're going to add it inside of this nested if statement. So if English isn't true, if it doesn't contain ing, we want to add another if statement. So before the false statement for the English if statement, we want to check if prop task contains math and then display math. Otherwise, we show nothing and we close it up with a circular bracket. So this is nested if statements, like this is inside another if statement. It is a standalone, so we need to close that off. 
individually and not with the rest of them. Because these two lines are an individual if statement inside of the other if statements we made. So now, if it doesn't show English or maths, if it doesn't contain any of those subjects, we show nothing. And then we add another circular bracket because we added an if statement to this if statement. Okay, does that make sense? Thank you so much for watching. That'll be all for this time. I hope I made sense and I hope the structure was okay. I am used to going from start to finish of a project. So this was a little bit different, but I do want to make these videos as easy to understand, easy to follow and easy to learn from as possible. And of course, there's a lot more that could be said about if statements, but I did just want to cover like the general structure because I know a lot of people struggle with just putting it together, like adding several if statements, adding an if inside an if and all of that stuff can get pretty confusing. So I wanted to kind of clear up how to structure a longer if statement. So hopefully it was helpful in that regard. And as always, have a great day.